Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick video on Ford Bronco Sport Big Band, the uh, navigation system. I've done a lot of research and um, I could not find something specifically what I'm going to talk to you about today. There are be videos about how to connect things and all that, but uh, there wasn't one about the details I was looking for and hopefully this video will help you with uh, some information about the navigation system. First of all, let me start by saying that the Big Band version does not have a inbuilt navigation system. It has this display unit and the display unit is for the purpose of uh, radio, the functions in the car and things like that. So what you have to do is to have an external navigation system plugged in. How you do that? There are two options right now. One is the Apple CarPlay and the other is Android Auto. I am using Android Auto. How does that work? Well, you have your mobile phone, you go to your App Store, Android App Store, and you download Android Auto free of charge from your App Store. And when you do that, you have an app in your mobile with that Android Auto system. And what happens is, what you have to do now is pair your mobile with the um, unit in the car. The unit in the car has a modem built in. What it does is that modem can read your mobile once you do pair it. There are a lot of videos about how to pair. I'll quickly go through it in a couple of lines. What you do is you switch on your Bluetooth in your mobile and just like you would pair your mobile through Bluetooth with any other unit, you start pairing your mobile phone with your um, unit here in the car uh, and what it'll do is the car will read your mobile as one of the recognized units and then you just pair it seamlessly once you do the pairing um, because you have your android auto app saved in your mobile phone um, when you plug the mobile phone to the car it'll seamlessly start reading it so let me just i'm going to peel off this crisp brand new sticker i've obviously taken off before but i wanted to keep it here to show you um in my new car here um and then what you do is uh, you plug in um, your mobile phone and it has to be your mobile phone i guess because once you pair it there are a lot of other features that the mobile phone um, and the car We'll need to talk to each other about like you can make phone calls from the, the the unit here display unit and so on so anyway we're talking about the navigation today so you plug in your mobile and then you plug just like you're charging it you plug it to the the other end to this usb unit here what it does is it seamlessly brings up the navigation system because you have paired it no other no nothing, nothing else is required just um it just seamlessly pairs turn right see it just just pairs just like that and then then you go in and then you pick where you want to go and then um you know just like any other navigation system Eddie, you, you, turn right. you, you you can do all the configurations here just like a standard gps uh what i want to uh, warn you is that um um i had this set up but i um had my uh, radio switched off and I wanted to uh, go for a trip and I uh, plugged in the navigation system first and then I tried to switch on the radio and the navigation system would work but the radio would not it's interesting I did not know that so my suggestion to you is have the radio and everything else going once you've set it up the navigation system and you're going on a trip then you uh, plug the navigation system and uh, put your directions and so on and then what it happens is whenever it uh, the navigation system talks to you the radio will pause on its own it's pretty cool and then it'll give you the directions and then the radio will come back up so that's something that um, that uh, you uh, want to be remembering um, with the, about the navigation system uh, one other thing I want to say is once you pair your mobile phone to the navigation system uh, there are features like I mentioned earlier you can make phone calls you can uh, send text messages 
um, you, you don't have to access it through the screen you can access through the panel out here we'll talk about it in another video but uh, what I want to say is that uh, the car really takes control of the mobile phone it doesn't show all the apps in your mobile phone it shows some things like whatsapp skype i can see them it's already there my contact list is already there for making phone calls so only a limited number but you cannot take videos i was trying to do this same video while i had um, this unit plugged in just like that um, but um, it would not work so something to remember but overall that's how this feature works there's a modem in this system here which uh, um, I understand has the capability of talking to the mobile phone and that's how the connection works you don't have to use your data it doesn't use up your data one of the things that I was thinking of is well how is it going to use without using my data when I'm um, on the move it does not so um, I hope this uh, video is helpful and that's all and uh, you know, if you like it give us a thumbs up um, and I'll see you in another video Take care now. Bye.